Hey guys, it has been a while since I made a new video for you and I am um, really sorry because I had exams and other more important stuff to do than making videos. But um, I'm going to make up to you guys by showing you how to use your PlayStation 3 controller on a um, computer for playing games and you know stuff like that. So we're going to need the drivers and there are two kinds of drivers, two, two. And um, one is for the... 32-bit operating system and another one is for the 64-bit operating system on your um, computer how can you know which one you need well you have to go to start and then you have to go to control panel and in the control panel you have to go to system inside system you can see which uh, kind of operating system you have it's uh, totally the same way in Vista and in XP you just have to go uh, to start control panel and system it's the same thing but XP is most of the time 32 bits, so yeah. Anyway, the links for the two drivers are in the, you know, doobly doo. And um, so I'm gonna use the 64 bit, and you just have to extract it. So extract it, and this will be extracted out of the WinRAR file, so. And you have to run this as an administrator. Run as administrator. And just have to install it, you guys know this I hope. Next. Um, I want it to be in program files 86. Um, next, uh, next, I don't want any quick launch uh, icon. Next, install. So yeah, and um, let this be um, clicked, don't want to click this, and uh, finish. So yeah, there will a uh, website appear and um, it will tell you how to use the use the program and install it but I'm gonna to, uh, tell you now so what's the point close this and uh, this is the program it is loading come on come on why is it white yeah there we go so it's uh, waiting for controllers to be connected but first of all you need to um, install the drivers so you need to con uh, connect your controller to your computer with a USB cable which you all have if you have a PS3 and you see the cable is connected there you go so yeah I'm gonna connect my uh, PlayStation 3 controller now go on there we go and um, then you have to go to driver manager and you have to click this and then you have to click load driver and it should take a while oh it doesn't so here you go it says motion enjoy driver successfully installed blah blah, blah. so you're good to go actually and then you have to go to profiles again and here you can uh, you see it has uh, appeared DualShock 3 6 axis USB and um, here you can pick which um, kind you want. I have heard that PlayStation 3 mode gives a lot of problems, so I'm gonna go with PlayStation 2 with the analog joysticks and the trigger buttons in the back, the shoulder buttons. So, and here you can see the LED. You can use the LEDs as for uh, battery information. So, as you can see now, this means that it is loading. The battery is loading, so, or yeah, charging if we, whatever. You, and uh, when it's full, I think um, the LEDs um, show you how full it is, like 4 is um, totally full, um, 3 is uh, 3 quarters full, and so on. So yeah, I'm going to enable the uh, vibration, enable, and you can uh, test it, so yeah, I'm going to click it, watch this. Oops, there we go. So yeah, see, I click it, and um, it works, okay. So um, everything is good to go, you can um, close this, it will minimize, and uh, next up I'm going to show you how it works on games and stuff. Another thing, if you want to know if it's uh, really calibrated and doing its thing, you can go to start, and you can go to devices and printers, and it should come up as um, HID compliant game controller, so, or PlayStation 3, but that doesn't always work, so just click this game controller settings and then you go to properties and here you can see all the joysticks this is the left joysticks I'm moving this is the right joystick I'm moving you see the Z axis and uh, Z rotation the um, the these buttons I don't know what they call 
Um, they uh, you see they all work and all the buttons they also work. Yeah. Okay. So everything is okay. Even R3 and L3 works. So yeah. You can uh, see everything works. I forgot to say that, but now I'm going to show you how to use it on games. So um, hey guys, I've started up uh, Need for Speed Shift, and um, I have configured the um, our PlayStation 3 controller in the game. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you that it uh, really does work, and um, try to get the camera angle all right. Um, okay, that should do it. Anyway, I'm going to turn out the sound a bit. There we go. I hit the gas. See. Wait a minute. See when I go to right, it goes to right. Don't mind the driving. I know I suck. See brakes. Do you have next uh, handbrake? Okay, so um, yeah, that about uh, sums it all up. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I hope to see you guys uh, soon. Bye, guys.